following Men's Health Month Spotlight is sponsored by Fairfax Radiology Centers. Well, we are at Fairfax Vascular Center right now with Dr. Syed talking about something that men probably don't like to talk a lot about, Never. but it happens to <laughs> all of us as we get older. That's and we're right. going to talk about that today in spring screenings. So thank you very much for your time. Thanks for having me. Um, right. And I'm learning something new here today too, but let's begin with the most common prostate problem for men over 50, which is prostate gland enlargement or BPH. Right. What is BPH? Right. So BPH is benign prostatic hyperplasia. And as you said, it's just enlargement of the prostate gland over time, over the course of a man's life for various reasons, um, you know, one of the main things being genetics and the other just being aging. Okay, so what are some of the symptoms that people might be experiencing at home? Sure, and I, I guarantee you, like you said, people don't talk about it, but their wives certainly remember these symptoms. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, um, you know, you can experience difficulty urinating, um, having to rush to the bathroom without being able to control your urine, waking up a lot at night to urinate, which can really, you know, kill your sleep. Um, or uh, not having a strong enough stream and taking forever to complete urination. These are all really, really common symptoms. What are the traditional treatments? Sure. Traditionally, um, there are a few medications that were prescribed that work well in mild symptoms, but a lot of people don't like the side effects, understandably so. Mm -hmm. um, there's, the more, there's the more invasive approach that uses a urinary catheter that typically reduces the size of the prostate gland from the inside. And this works really well. It just has a few added side effects that can negatively in, in affect your quality of life when it comes to intimacy. Okay. So for a long time, this was the gold standard, but thankfully now we have a lot of new options that are easy to tailor different patients. Well, let's talk about that. P-A-E. That's right. That is a way that we can help and yeah. talk about what that is. So prostate artery embolization, it sounds like a complicated name, but really it's just a small procedure that's done to block the blood vessels of the prostate gland. It's not done surgically, it's done through a little IV that we place through your wrist or, your, um, or, or that artery in the leg. And uh, what we do is we block the uh, arteries to the prostate gland and it forces the gland to shrink. And the typical timeline for that is about three months, but as the gland shrinks, you kind of get the same effects that you would when someone surgically reduces the size of the gland. Mm. And how long does a PAE treatment last? Sure, so typically, you know, you can expect at least five to seven years of relief. Now you might have some symptoms come back, but overall, you'll get about that much with the current literature. And who would be a good candidate for PAE? Almost everyone. Okay. Is a candidate for PAE. I would say the only, you know, maybe patients who's, who are suffering from symptoms, but their prostate gland is very small, they may not be appropriate candidates. But by and large, almost everyone's a good candidate for PAE. Well, let's talk about the next steps for people that are watching at home right yeah. now, who to contact for PAE treatment. Absolutely. We have an excellent team here. We work together with um, really top-notch urologists to coordinate and make sure our patients get the appropriate care and uh, team. You can contact us here at Fairfax Vascular Center. You can go on our website and submit a request, and we're more than happy to help guide you through your journey. Dr. Syed, let's keep talking about things that we have to talk about. Yeah, Thank that's you right. so yeah. much for your time. Pleasure. And nice great to meet you. To meet you. We'll put some lot. important information up on the screen. If you have some more questions, you can get some more answers right now from our friends at Fairfax Vascular Center.